I hope you are having a great week. Uh, this week I want to talk to you about something that absolutely broke my heart. If you haven't heard, last Tuesday Demi Lovato overdosed on heroin. It was reported that she overdosed and then was hospitalized and um, by late Tuesday night she was back stable. She was sleeping and surrounded by family and so loved and supported by friends which is wonderful. But just hearing about her overdose absolutely broke my heart. I was so sad. If you didn't watch, I did a video recently on her song Sober and just how she shares so openly about her own brokenness and weaknesses and ultimately what I believe is a desire for infinite love. And so hearing about this absolutely undid me. I was just so sad to know that she had fallen in such a way and there were millions of people that could relate, which is why shortly after her hospitalization was released, um, there were two big trending hashtags on Twitter. One of them was I have confidence in Demi and the second one was how Demi has helped me. Kind of reflecting on all of this as a Christian woman and who believes in the mystical body of Christ, I, I thought about a number of things that I want to share with you regarding this whole situation that played out last week. The first is that I think this reminds us of the impact that it is to be a member of the body of Christ. That when one member of the body of Christ is hurting, is aching, is struggling, that every member suffers in some way or another. The second thought I have kind of surrounds that first hashtag of I have confidence in Demi. I think it's awesome that there were so many people that had confidence in Demi's ability to overcome this, to overcome her struggles, to overcome her addiction, to overcome this terrible moment in her life. That's brilliant and we should have hope and confidence in other people. However, as Christians, we have to recognize that by ourselves apart from Christ, we cannot overcome these trials on our own. That we have to have confidence in Jesus first and that he is the one who desires to free us of these um, things that enslave us and keep us from him. And kind of along the same lines, there's that second hashtag, how Demi has helped me. So many people were sharing about the ways Demi and her sharing about her own struggles and being so honest and open with her fans about what she has dealt with in her life, how that has been such a help for them. And I think that's incredible that so many people can look at another person and say, you've impacted me. You've given me strength. I can relate to you. Part of your story resonates with me and because of that I have grown and I have overcome some trial or some struggle or some temptation in my life. However, as Christians, we know that other human beings will never be enough to fully free us from the struggles that we will face in our life. Jesus is who will give us the help, who will give us the healing, who will give us the redemption, the victories over death that we need to overcome what we are dealt in this life. So while it's great we can look to other members of the body of Christ for help, we have been given a savior who desires to help us primarily so we can look to him for that help. If you have any other thoughts about all of this, please comment below. I would love to hear from you and please continue to keep Demi in your prayers because it is I do believe that Jesus desires to heal her and I do believe he desires to work in our life, but we have a duty that we're aware of this so we can offer her up to him so that he can move and work in that way. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, shared it with anyone that you desire to share it with. And I will see you all next week right here on Real Talk. Bosh is too big. This is weird. That's it.